Hi, I'm Linda from Barlady's Body Blitz. Welcome to Endurance 80 Take It Off. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat if you're working out on hard floor and some hand weights. I'm using one kilo, which is just over 2.2 pounds. Now, you don't want to have a slippery surface because we will be doing some handstand modifications. So you want to make sure you've got a nice clear space so that there's enough space to move around and if you do overjudge the handstand, you don't crash into anything. But don't worry, I'll show you modifications. So with today's workout, we've got 20 rounds of 80 seconds of work with just 10 seconds to change over. If you're super advanced, work through the breaks, but otherwise, catch your breath and just get into position ready for the next round. The first two rounds will act as a semi-warm-up, but if you are in a very cold climate, make sure you warm up extra and come back when you're ready. Then we're going to move into two sets of four rounds each. So there's going to be a exercise which has a combination of different moves, and each consecutive round after that, we're gonna take off a move until we're left with the base move. Then we're gonna move on to a different combination. In between the two sides, we're gonna work one side um, to begin with and then the other side, there's gonna be some cardio-based moves just to get rid of some lactic acid. Okay, are you ready? I'm pressing start and we're gonna pick up our hand weights and we're gonna start with a narrow squat, so tummies in, and we're going to come down, then we're gonna go into a wide squat, down, and then back into the narrow. Down, out, out, down. So the most important thing with these squats is that your weight is in the heels and you are sinking low, but you're sticking your butt out to the back wall. So you're trying to get 90 degree angles with your legs, your tummy's pulled in, your shoulders are down and back, and you're really trying to hinge forward slightly at the waist or at the hips but your chest is still high. So it's out, out, in, in. Now, because this is an interval-based workout, you don't need to follow my pace. So if I'm going too fast for you, slow it down. And if I'm going too slow for you, speed it up. So I'm just doing hammer curls with my hands here and really trying to squeeze those weights, getting a little bit of arm involved, 14 seconds, Always blow out on the exertion. In, in, out, out. Five seconds. Sink low, weight is in the heels. Okay, so 10 seconds. Then we're going to a lunge series. We're going to curtsy lunge. Go now to curtsy lunge, out to the side, squat. Then other side, curtsy lunge, out to the side, squat. Curtsy side, squat. If you want to, side, squat. All the way down, leg side, squat. Down, leg side, squat. Some of these exercises are going to have a bit of a challenge balance. Balance challenge, <laughs> if I can speak. So you might want to have a chair handy because it may get a little bit wobbly. So reaching down, if you can't reach all the way to the ground, go to your low point. Squat, always make sure you get that nice deep squat in between and get your leg up high. This move is preparing you for the first set of exercises, which is gonna have a similar feel. 14, 13, down. All the way. Try to point your toe and get your leg up all the way to the side. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're starting the first set. We're gonna stay on one side. We're going to do a lunge back into a side kick, into a curtsy lunge, into front kick. So go now. Lunge back, side kick, curtsy. Then we're gonna kick across and kick straight. Lunge back, side kick. Curtsy lunge across, you can tap down, or if you want to float your leg, you can. So this is the most complex move, and we're going to get easier from here. It's back down, it's side, and it's front. Don't worry so much what you're doing with your arms. 
Focus mostly on your legs. Straight back, side. Curtsy back, side, and straight. Tap down if you need to. Side and straight. Now, once you have the base move, I want you to focus on your form. Tummy's in, try to keep your chest high and get your knee all the way down at the back. Side, back. So we're going to lose this kick in the next round. 10 seconds, side and front. Five seconds. Big high kicks once you've got it. Three, two, one. So exactly the same thing, but we're losing that front kick. Deep breath in. Starting with that back lunge. Three, two, one, go now. So it's back, it's side, it's down, it's side. Straight into the back, side, down, side. I know it's wobbly. Just keep going. Slow it down and use a chair if you have to. It's back, it's side, and it's diagonal. Don't worry if you mess it up and keep to the front, because I just did it too. Just kick somewhere along the line and front. It's back, it's side, it's deep, it's angled. Keep going. 37. Side. So in the next round, we're going to lose that kick altogether. So be glad about that, because that's the hardest on the balance. 21. Really sink low in your lunges. All the weight is in the heel of the supporting leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So now we're losing that kick and we're just going to come to a bent knee. Deep breath in, 3, 2, starting with the back lunge, 1, back lunge, side, down, up. Back lunge, side, down, up. Okay, so this one's a lot easier on the balance. Back, side, down, up. Arms overhead if you can, that'll get the heart rate up. Back, side, down, up. I want a deep lunge here. Get your knee down, up, side, curtsy knee, back, side, curtsy knee. Try not to look around the room. It definitely helps with balance if you just look straight ahead or pick a focal point, 36, back, side, and knee, back, side, and knee, come on, back, side. We're going to lose the side kick and just go back, curtsy. After this round's finished, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Ready? We're just going to go back side. So it's back and side. Let's just go back and side. I thought we were losing the kick, but actually we're losing the curtsy lunge. It's back and side. Yep. Hard on the balance again. If you use your arm in the same direction as that extending leg, it actually helps a little bit. 53. It's back and side. Back and side. Are you tapping your knee down? Side. This is the last round. Then we're moving on to a new combination. Back, side. Back, side. Come on. You can do this. 29, 28, 27, 24, 23. Big long legs to the side. Point and extend. 
15. Sink low, arms up, 10. This one's actually the toughest one in my opinion. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, lose your weights for the next one. This one's tough. We're gonna do a lift off. We're gonna do a crouch. We're gonna turn, come up and up. Now go. Lift off handstand. If you don't wanna do a handstand, crouch here, turn, push up, turn back, and up. You can just do a leg raise if you don't want to do that handstand variation. And I'm going to show you some tougher ones now. So crouch up. So if you want to, bend your back leg down. Lift up. Turn. Push up. You can do that on your knees. Step behind, up, then crouch. Open your legs. Ankles together, maybe, if you want. Turn. Push up, I'll show you on your knees. So you're crouching up, 30. Down up, around, push up. I forgot to show you on your knees. You can sit down here if it helps you. And up, now I'm gonna show you on your knees. Around, push up, go around. If you wanna sit, you can make it a lot easier by modifying Nine, eight, seven, six. We're going to lose this leg raise next. Three, two, and one. Okay, get ready. We're gonna do handstand first. Crouch, push up, back into handstand. Three, two, one. So, handstand first. Choose your option. Come down, up, turn, push up, turn, straight up, handstand. Come down, leg up. If you don't want to do the leg up, then just stay in a crouch. Come open, open your knees here. It really helps to get up and it saves your knees if you've got that nice wide Asian squat kind of position. And up and down, leg up as high as you can with that leg in 40 seconds. It's up. It's crouch. Fall back onto a straight arm. Make sure your arm is not locked, okay? You should have a micro bend in your elbow. 26, around. Try to do a full push up if you can, but if you can't, on your knees. Just do something around. 12, 11, keep going. Eight, seven, guess what? We're gonna lose the push-up. Three, two, and one. We're losing the push-up. So we're just gonna go into the crouch. Ready? Start with a handstand. So it's a handstand. It's a back. It's a down. It's a back. It's an around. It's a handstand. No going down. It's a back. It's a down, it's an around, it's a crouch, handstand. It's a down, it's a leg, it's a plank, it's an around, it's a handstand. Make sure you use your arms here, nice and straight. It's all about where you put your feet to get around quickly and back around. And then push off your heels to get up. It's up, it's around, it's in, it's forward. Remember your options. You don't have to do the full handstand. You can just lift off a little bit, okay? We're just gonna do the leg lift. So this leg lift back into handstand after this round. And that's our last one. Nine, eight, seven, six. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Get up. So handstand to crouch with leg lift. Back to handstand. No turning. That's the next one. Ready? Go. Handstand 
and leg lift. Back up, handstand, down, up, back up. So, pull your tummy in, push out of the shoulders. In the handstand, look between your hands. Don't look at your hands. Look towards your feet that are lifting off. And remember, this is your option, leg raise, sit down, leg raise, get up, half leg, down up, or full, get more air time, 38, you can do it, nice strong arms, 30, You've got two kind of cardio intervals in between, and then we're going to the other side for those two combination moves. 16, 15. Come on, hold your tummy in. This is helping so many muscle groups right now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, stay down. We're going to go into a plank position and we're going to, ready, come out, knees together. Out wide, knees together. Bend those legs and in. Plie wide and in. If you can't do this, then do it up here. Wide and in. But if you can, I want your knees down close to the floor and then knees close to your elbows. 53. Don't worry, the next one's easier. Lactic acid build up in the quads. 44. 40. You can go bent and straight. That's another option, bent and straight. 33, but bent and bent is the hardest. 28. 25. Oh my goodness. Lactic acid, 20. Come on. Next one's easy, I promise. 14, 13. 12, 11. Breathe, breathe. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Wow. We're not up. Back into plank. But we're going to do knee pulls to leg raises, changing sides. Get into a kind of plank with your butt in the air. It's up, it's in, it's up, it's down. It's up, it's in, it's up, it's down. Your butt can be in the air here. You don't have to do a full plank. Up and down. Up, knee in, it's up and down. Let your heart rate down. Just breathe. Up and in and up and down. Sweat should be flowing. 49, it's up, it's in, it's up and down. Try to squeeze your glute at the top of this raise. Get the leg up straight, knee all the way in. Feel your abs as the knee comes in, 33, 30. Then we're up and we're doing that lunge combination starting with the other leg. So you're gonna lunge behind, you're gonna kick out to the side, you're gonna do a curtsy lunge behind, and then kick in front diagonal, kick in front straight. Okay, that's the full combination, and then we'll take things off as we did last time. Three, two, one. Okay, pick up your weights. Oh my goodness, the sweat is real. So we're stepping behind with this leg this time. Three, two, one. It's behind, it's out. It's curtsy, it's side, it's front. It's back and down, it's side. It's curtsy, diagonal, front, back, side. Can you reach all the way down but keep your chest high? Try it. All the way up, down, side, Front, do what you need to with your arms to help you with your balance. Side, front, 
all the way. I want those kicks high and I want the lunges low. Down, 39, side, all the way. Stick your hip out on that curtsy lunge. Straight, side, stick your hip out. 30 seconds, and front. Come on, mean every move. Form, perfect. Slow it down if you have to. This one gets your heart rate back. It's not that bad, right? Not compared to the last few. Nine, eight, seven, six. We're gonna lose the front kick. Three, two, one. Same thing, lose that front kick. Are you breathing? Imagine talking through the whole thing. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, it's back. It's side. It's down, diagonal. It's back. It's side. It's down, diagonal. Low. Touch your knee down here and here. I want two knee touches here and here. Can you do it? Get low. You need to step wide, wide behind in order to get your knee down. I don't want you to ever allow your supporting leg knee to go over the toe. Step wide. Lean forward at the waist to help you get down there. And up. But don't worry if you can't. Just choose your hard. But it's got to be hard. 33. Back. Side. Across. One side is always going to be more wobbly than the other. Okay? That's totally normal. 14, 13. Come on. Balance is something that you train just like strength and flexibility. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we're losing that kick. We're just gonna do a knee. Deep breaths, starting with the lunge back. Three, two, one. It's back, it's side, it's down. It's back, it's side, it's down. All the way. So it's becoming less complex, which means Focus on wide lunges. Focus on long extensions. Focus on low lunges. Okay? Arms out. Squeeze the triceps. Overhead. Long. Out. 47. Up. Side. Out. Turn your body a little bit as you do that curtsy lunge here. Okay, it will help you stick your hip out more. 35, out, up, side, out. The last interval is just the back side lunge. Just this bit to this bit, without this bit, okay? Back, side, down, up. Come on, as you get tired, you get more wobbly. It's normal, out, down, up. Back, six, five, three, two, one. Okay, so we're taking out the curtsy. Last little bit in this combination. So back and side lunge. Three, two, one. It's back to side. Back to side. If you want to tap your leg down here and then go back here, you can, okay? Otherwise, bring your knee in. Back to side. Back to side. Hold your tummy in. Find a focal point that was wrong. Out and in. Up, out and in. Back, out and in. I have to focus too. Too much talking and I mess things up. 41, back. If you prefer a curtsy lunge here, because it gives you more stability, do it, okay? 30 seconds, out in, back to out, back to out, 24, back to out, lean over, it helps a little bit, 17, 16, 14, 13, 10 seconds, 
Then we're into that crouching combination. Home stretch. Three, two, one. So you can put down those weights. We're doing handstand. Handstand going this way with the back leg into the crouch kick. Ready? Three, two, one. So handstand, come down, crouch, over, push up, back around, touch your foot, come up in this crouching position, handstand, come down, touch your foot if you can, around, push up and up. If you don't want to do a handstand, glute raise, come down. You can even sit down here, sit down on your butt, come around, do a knee push up, come around, sit down again and get up. Otherwise, bend the back leg, come down, reach it, around, choose your level for the push up, around, touch, come up, or you want to do a full handstand, ankles together, come down, up, 29, keep going. If you want to alternate between full handstands and then just raises, full push-ups and knee push-ups, just do what challenges you and allows you to keep going. That's the most important thing. You just need to keep moving. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, get up. We're losing the last leg raise, okay? Oh my goodness. Talking and handstanding, not good combination. Go. Handstand, come down. Touch, push up, come around, walk around, up. Handstand, come down. Touch, turn, push up, around and in. It's up, it's down, extend. Remember your arm that's holding you is really important. You wanna make sure it's nice and straight and aligned underneath your shoulder. See how it's perfectly aligned? Then I'm not moving that arm as I go through the rest of the combination. It stays in one spot here, so face your fingers away. Turn, push up, come back around, move your leg, get up, 30 seconds. Up, around, push up, back around. We're gonna lose the push up and just do a plank next. Down, you can do it. I believe in you. If you're sweating as much as me, then you're doing it right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, same thing, lose the push up. So just plank, we're nearly done. Ready, start with the handstand. It's handstand, it's down. It's touch, it's plank, it's down. It's handstand. It's down, it's reach, it's plank, it's up, it's handstand. Down, point your toe, get the leg high, it's up. Come on. You get up and down all the time to pick things up off the floor. If you're at the beach, you're lying down on your tummy like this, and this is a way you can get up without getting all sandy. That kind of makes sense to me. It may not make sense really. 34, down and up, 30, around, in. Remember to look through your arms when you do that handstand. It will help your neck to stay in alignment. 20, 19, 18, come on, reach. 14, 13, 12. You can do it. Just don't stop. Just don't stop. We're nearly done. You can stop in a minute or two. Okay, get up. We're not doing the plank. We're just doing the handstand to crouch with leg up and back up. Three, two, one. Handstand, down, up. Get back up. Handstand. This is mean, isn't it? But this is your last move. 
up, down kick, forward. The key is to really allow yourself to sit back with your butt close to your heels. It's actually better for your knees to do that than to try and stay in some awkward hovering position, okay? You're putting your weight onto that arm. So you're falling back, weight is on the arm, okay? When you lift that leg, 34, 33, 32. <laughs> Come on. I believe you can do this. Ah, uh, just keep going. If you don't laugh, you'll probably cry. Just keep going and lift off. You're stronger than you think, honestly. I promise you. Mind over matter, 876. <laughs> just don't stop. Three, two, one, done. Okay. 80 seconds, easy, right? Not, get up because we don't want lactic acid to build up. Oh, breathe and kind of just swing because that's all we can do right now. Swing and reach, swing and reach. Oh, side to side, swing, letting the heart rate down. Side to side. It was only 30 minutes, people. Only 30 minutes. So if you haven't had enough, rewind, do it again, or maybe even add on another one of my endurance 80 workouts, or one of my sculpting workouts. Just do whatever you feel challenges your body. If this wasn't challenging enough, then go on to my Endurance 90 or my Endurance 100, reach across. Find something that challenges you. Add extra equipment. <sighs> Breathe. Okay, sit down, legs in front, and we're going to lean forward. Stretch your hamstrings. Point and flex. Are you sweating as much as me? Crazy amounts of sweat right now. Okay, on your tummy, pull your heel in. When you stop, you actually start sweating even more. Heart rate's coming down. You need to challenge your heart rate. These are metabolic workouts, other heel in. If you're not puffing, if you're not sweating, if you're not finding um, that your heart rate is going up and sometimes you're actually a bit breathless, then you need to change something because if you're not challenging yourself in your workouts, you will not be getting fitter, you will not be getting stronger, lean forward. Why bother? If you're just doing the same old thing and you're not really challenged, you're not finding that it's intense enough, then your body is not gonna respond, I promise you. You need to keep challenging yourself. Come up and just turn to the back. Now switch the leg in front, lean forward. The afterburn from these sort of workouts is amazing. Your metabolism is gonna be revved, you're gonna be burning fat for many hours. All with body weight and tiny little dumbbells. Lean over and stretch. You don't need to do heavy weights. You will still build muscle because think about it, those handstands, all of your body weight is on those arms and shoulders, all of it. So all, with your lunges, you're lunging and squatting your entire body weight. That's a lot of weight. That's more than holding onto some little dumbbells. Lean forward towards that leg, stretching your Outer hips, outer thighs, glutes, they definitely got a good workout with those curtsy lunges. I love curtsy lunges, they're like my favorite thing in life because they work so many muscles. Other side. And then just interlace and blow the air out and stretch, opening up in between your shoulder blades. 
And then we're just going to interlace behind and stretch. Once again, stretching our shoulders, opening up. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my Endurance 80 Take It Off workout. I hope you enjoyed the combinations. Remember, the first time is always the most challenging. Next time you do it, you'll remember the sequences and you won't stuff up as much. Even I stuffed up and I made up the workout. So it's all good. Just keep going, keep moving, keep challenging yourself and you're going to see results. Thanks for watching. See you next time.